we're back for another trend report. We haven't done one in a while, and I'm gonna kind of get to why we haven't been doing these as much. Um, I think that's part of the trends of what's going on. But I also want to go ahead and let the record say that most of the trends that I put forth a year ago are now coming to fruition. No one is shooting as high of a percentage as I am when it comes to trend spotting. I need a consulting gig, y'all. For a low, low six figures a month retainer, I'm available to consult for your company. And, you know, you might make the money back if you do that. What is, do you think is the most prominent like trend that you actually called? I don't year. remember what they were. <laughs> <laughs> you guys watch them. Why don't you watch the trend reports and comment below? Because all I know is everything that I saw in the mirror six months ago is now coming to fruition. A year ago is now coming to fruition. All right, so here's the thing. The reason we haven't done a trend report in a while is I think there's a general stagnation in our culture and like trends, yes, micro trends are coming and going like faster than ever, but the macro overall trends are really stagnant and people have been dressing the same for like four years now. So I'll do a full separate video kind of explaining my thought process on this. Let's talk about the trends that I do see coming in, I guess. All right, this one obviously is a self-serving one. LA is coming back, especially Melrose. The way that everyone was in LA and on Melrose five, six, seven years ago, like during the SoundCloud era, I think that's gonna kind of come back. The problem I'm having with, I think a lot of people are having with New York and I'm not besmirching New York. You guys know I love New York, but it's just like every neighborhood is now overrun with like awful finance people. You know, like they're like in the fucking West Village now, they're in the East Village, they're starting to move to the lower. Like it's just a proliferation of like Murray Hill ass people. I think a lot of people are gonna wanna move to LA for the weather, move to LA for the cost of living. I see LA kind of having a resurgence, not to say that New York's gonna like n like fall off, it never will, but I think LA's gonna have a resurgence, especially culturally. Yeah, Cali vibes, bro. Next one, Illuminati are coming back in a big way. There's a lot of Illuminati talk throughout the 2010s. I mean, they let fucking Rick Ross in. That's kind of crazy. How do you know that? Everyone knows that. I think the Illuminati are big on franchising restaurants, so I think that's kind of hit, that was his foothold in. You know, I think they're, they've been in the shadows for long enough. I think they're ready to push their new world order on people. I think they are rested and ready for a, a strong 24, 25. New metal, greatest genre of music of all time. Talking Limp Biscuit, talking Papa Roach, talking Corn. This has kind of been bubbling for a lot of people for a long time, but I think like, the egregiousness of this music and the aesthetics around it are finally coming back into style. And I think that like everyone hating this for what it is, which they're not wrong to do, is going to fall off. People are gonna really start embracing just the tunes, the tunes of the time. Late 90s, early 2000s, a lot of angst in the world. Do you think that uh, white guys with dreads are gonna come back? No, in? fuck no. Get the fuck out of my face with that. <laughs> Big oversized shirts. Wasp core in general. This also goes in with no socks with your shoes in the summertime. All three of these things are just general Ina Garden-esque head-ass core. Like, you know, how real, rich, old people dress. Big oversized white shirts, like button-ups. What you see like an old rich woman in the Upper East Side kind of wearing when she's just running around, you know? She's gonna be wearing some loafers, some Belgians, probably no socks. Just like, yeah, like waspy aesthetics. You know, like Ralph Lauren is huge. Ralph's a big part of that, L.L. Bean, you know, Loro and stuff. But I really think like, like the white people Ralph Lauren aesthetic. Look at like a Jake Wolf. Look at all the menswear girlies. Look at all these people. They're pushing all these fucking brands that are really just like Ralph through another lens. Just go buy this Ralph. Mushrooms are out. Psychedelic? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's nothing less cool than doing mushrooms. That seems very in line with the Illuminati's plan. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. I'm not in the Illuminati. Yeah, mushrooms are out. I think people are gonna stop microdosing. They realize that it's fucking stupid. It doesn't do anything for you. It's like, you might as well just, again, this is just like when I said, if you smoke pot in the morning, you might as well just drink a Smirnoff airplane bottle in your car on the way to work. Like, it's the same thing. You're getting fucked up in the early in the day is crazy, regardless of what you're taking. Like, chill the fuck out. Mushrooms are out, deeply uncool, deeply burnt. If you can't handle reality without taking a fucking psychedelic, like, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Like, get it together. Kissing and missionaries in, missionaries back in, back shots are out. Why are they out? We talked about this a second ago when we weren't on camera. You know how they talk about how like, Porno has skewed everyone's brain and like made like, like removed love and human connection from sex. Back shots are the physical embodiment of that. It's all about true, genuine human connection. It's true, back shots are barbaric, we know this. Yeah, back shots are evil. <laughs>
Last one is American themed stuff back in style. Everyone's gonna be dressing like Joelle Santana in that one picture next year in Dime Square. Mark my fucking words. The USA team shit at the polo store is fucking fire. Raph Calvin shit is amazing. Like the American flag's coming back. Not a symbol of hate. Symbol of the strongest country in the world, baby. I feel like this is also in line with the Illuminati's plan. Really? It's Illuminati coded what you're doing? You're pushing many nationalist agendas right now. Dude, best fucking country in the world. I'm sorry. This is not on some like hateful shit. Every time I leave the country for more than a week, I cannot wait to get back to America. This is the best place on earth. Like, yeah, there's a lot of fucked up shit going on, but it's better here. America's so fucking sick. At least New York and LA are. <laughs> you know, like, I don't, I don't know what Kansas City's like, but like, you know, I fuck with it over here. Yeah, I love this shit. We'll do a separate video, maybe in a week or two, about just trend stagnation. But those are the trends that I see going forward. So write them down. Also, yeah, again, comment below which one of my trends that I correctly predicted is your favorite.